<laughs> Man, we're anxious to play. Had a nice meeting with our team this morning, and really, uh, really proud of how hard the team played and thought we might be able to pull it off there at the end with Christian driving us. Um, a lot of positives in terms of his growth, offensive production, and really a defensive play through 71 plays. Um, and then a few ball security issues at the end of the game, sudden change. We didn't handle very well, and the game got away from us, but I liked how hard our team fought. Um, I actually saw quite a bit of improvement despite the loss and, and looking forward to playing again. Good opponent, tough setting, but, man, it's college football, so BYU and Boise State is a good matchup. What are your feelings on playing Boise every year, this 12-game contract? Do you like it? it? I was joking with uh, Chris Peterson as soon as we signed the deal, then he left and went to Washington. And uh, I think it's good. It's a great regional matchup. Um, two uh, teams with uh, high profiles, a lot of following. And for us, um, we're always looking to find good games and over time and teams that will come to Provo. So uh, I think it makes sense, again, whether 12 years or not, whether that even happens, you know, the way contracts go now. Um, but I, I think both schools jumped at the chance for a regional matchup. What kind of relationship do you have with Coach Harson, if at all? I don't have any. Um, I haven't met him. Um, just from, uh, I believe he was the offensive coordinator at Texas when uh, we lost to them down there by, it was a close game, I don't remember the score. Um, so I know him by reputation, just by what he's done offensively, but I don't know him as a person. They seem Boise. What do they present uh, mm. on offense? Man, versus? similar similar offense to what we've been seeing. Um, similar to what we just saw from Reno. Similar to what we saw from Central Florida. Not identical, but similar. Mobile quarterback. Really nice running back. Multiple formations and shifting and those kind of things. But um, there's not a giant departure from what we've been playing. Uh, defensively, very aggressive. They, um, so we've had some crossover film from them. We saw them against Nevada and. Different style than they were playing before under um, their former defensive coordinator and, and Chris Peterson. So more aggressive, I would say, now in terms of taking chances. Offensively, you've got your offensive pillar, 24 points, if I remember right. And that you've reached that, I believe, in six of the seven games mm -hmm. and sitting at four and three. When do, you, when do you evaluate, because of how explosive offenses are these days, do you evaluate making a change, increasing mm -hmm. the amount of points you're shooting for? Or? No, not, not really. Really, the focus comes just on to how to improve our defensive play. Um, and that, man, has been so solid for so, so, so long. And we're more youthful. We're more inexperienced. We have had multiple different challenges injury-wise. And... And uh, so there's been a lot of challenges in addition to that. So rather than adjusting the offensive pillar, it's really been focusing on and working to solidify um, our defensive play. But as far as the offense goes, I mean, you win more games if you score 50. And, you know, I mean, you got to the 24, you got to the 28, and weren't really able to build on that as much. Mm, Is not, that just... Not particularly this season, um, but if you look over time, it has been enough. And so... Um, and I've preferred to, to try to get and keep the consistency part of it. Um, and wasn't sure that would even happen when Taysom got hurt. But man, Christian, from if you think about his growth from the second half of Utah State through the central or the second half of Central Florida through that game, and he, he's doing a really nice job. And so he's giving us more of a buffer than what I thought we would have. How would you say Bills or Fula being back this week? Um, possible of both. Um, so I'll list them both as hopeful, but um, I won't get the full report probably till tomorrow. Jamal in the same category? Yeah, Jam I would put all three of those guys in the same category. It would be nice to have them all, but, man, the way things are going, better for us to plan on none and then be surprised if we get them. With the rash of ankle injuries, has there been any evaluation by this training staff at all or anything oh, like yeah. that? Oh, yeah, so about every way possible. I've got about uh, 50 pages worth on my desk of different um, – um, artificial surfaces versus grass surfaces versus pads versus no pads versus the type of cleats versus transition of practices from grass to um, so it's been broken down about every way possible and um, so far and versus game and practice and I'd love to tell you there's a specific thing and it's, I'm actually more frustrated that there's not if I could name it I would tackle it you'd um, stop it exactly right um, so it just is uh, I don't know. We'll chalk it up currently to bad luck. He 